Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing well and I want to say welcome to everybody. I wanted to get on out here today and share with you guys some of my finished objects that I have and trying to beat the heat and trying to beat the sun here. <laughs> the sun's here but I'm hiding behind it, this tree here, hiding from it because it keeps following me around and so I might have to pause it a few times to get behind the tree again. <laughs> These pine trees, are some of them are big, but they're not big enough to keep the sun off of me. But anyway, I want to get up here and show you guys some of the finished objects that I have. And I've got just a few, and I have them sitting over here. And so, but anyway, the first one I'm going to share with you guys, I had so much fun making this. And it is a pattern that's part, it's by two different designers. And then on the other part of it is I just made it up myself. Now, Sarah Sash came out with a... Santa and elf pattern about I guess going on a month ago and I really love the way the form of the pattern makes up and so I wanted to use it again because I had a request to make a pumpkin pillow <laughs> now cats are making noises in the house um, anyway this is a uh, this part here is a Sarah Sash pattern and like I said, I had a request to make a pumpkin, and so I went online and looking for a, a pumpkin face, and I found one on Yarnspiration, and it was on a dishcloth. And I will link that and Sarah's down below if you want to go check it out. And so anyway, I took the pumpkin face, and I added it on to the pillow. Really easy to make, and I love the texture of this panel. Really pretty. And so anyway, I used Mainstay um, Orange and Mainstay Black. And I used a hmm, five and a half, I believe, or was it a six? Might have been a size six millimeter hook, if I remember right, for the panel. And then for the eyes, I used a five. But for the panels, I had to use two strands of yarn because her pattern calls for a bulky, and I don't have any solid uh, bulky, so I just held two strands together. And I think he turned out really cute. Now on the back side, I had a request for a ghost. <laughs> now this is where I just made it up myself and what I did was I just chained a bunch of chains I don't even know maybe 10 15 and then put like two uh, single crochets in the first stitch and then I just single crochet down and then when I got to the end of the chain I would put like three and then by then you'd be on the other side of the chain and then I would just do single crochets and then increase again so I got to the size that I wanted and I did the same thing for the mouth except I chained a little bit more which it was probably about I'm guessing maybe 15 and then I just increased on the ends and you can increase in different places just to give you a little bit of, of a different shape of a mouth but I think it turned out really cute and and a lot of fun and this is the mainstay black and the mainstay white and for the form, I went and bought a piece of orange, uh, a fat quarter of orange, and a fat quarter of white, and just sewed them together and stuffed it. And so, a really fun pillow to make if you want to make you a Halloween one. And it was really easy to make. And I'll put links down below to Sarah's uh, pattern. She also has a tutorial where you can make it. it. Like I said, hers is a Christmas one, but you can use these panels and, you know, make any kind of a pillow out of it because it's like I said it's a really good textured and you know you can't even see that pillow form in there even if it was a, a white pillow form you couldn't see it I don't think so anyway that's my first one looks like the sun's starting to find me now you can see it on the pillow <laughs> all right now the next one is a one that I showed on my whip Wednesday and it is by Sarah Zimmerman see if I can get it out down here <laughs> and it is the treat bag and it's Frankenstein and I got him done and I think he turned out so cute and he was a lot of fun to make and like I said I'm just needing little treat bags and so this is my first one I'm going to be making now she's got one some bigger treat bags and I'm going to try to make them but I'm going to have to downsize them and I think they're a, one's a cat a pumpkin I'm thinking the other one might be a Frankenstein I'd have to look but I'll insert some pictures right here of what hers looks like and then she's got this one 
but I used the, that mainstay green and I'm almost 100% sure they discontinued this green, which I really love it. It's really a pretty green. Let's see if it shows up there, the color. It's not really showing from what I can see of the true color, but it's a beautiful color. And then mainstay white and mainstay black. And then the gray was just a scrap ball that I had. And then I gave him a little scar and he's got his little mouth. And then I did some little French knots for his eyes. And so, yeah, it's really fun. And, you know, like I said, cute little treat bag for a little bit of treats to put in there. And then he's got a little drawstring. You just pull it shut. <laughs> so, and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook, and I think it calls for a four. So, I'll put a link down below where you can go find it. It's free on our blog. All right, I'm going to have to pause it, I guess, and move behind the tree a little bit more because it's starting to catch up to you. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm crooked, and I think I moved 10 times, but hey, I'm staying. <laughs> oh, it wore me out. <laughs> anyway, back to my crochet. Goodness. Now, this next one I'm going to share with you guys is a pattern by uh, Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. I had a request to make some little Halloween decorations for a Halloween tree that someone's making. And I kept thinking there was one more, and sure enough, there he is, and I made it up the other day. I'll get it out here and show you guys. Now, it is a candy corn. <laughs> this is, uh, like I said, it's a uh, pattern by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, and it was a lot of fun to make. And it's pretty good size. I mean, not real big. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be too big for the tree, but it's, it's going to be a dowel tree, because I've looked everywhere for those uh, Halloween trees. I can't find them anywhere. The Dollar Tree has sold out of them. Somebody went into ours and bought every one of them. And I've been another dollar tree and they didn't have any so anyway i think a dowel tree might be better anyway because it'll be able to probably hold ones that are a little bit bigger like this but if it's too big it can just sit next to it but i think it turned out really cute and uh, it's got the cute little face on it i used uh, some very tiny safety eyes which i want to say they were sixes but i'm going to say they're a little bit smaller than that i don't know um just some tiny ones <laughs> And then I whip stitched a mouth on there. And then the yarn that I use is mainstay yellow, orange, and white. And I use a 3.2 millimeter hook. And I think she uses like a four on hers. So mine turned out a little bit smaller and I got a critter crawling on me already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had one of those, I call them news bees, where they, you know, just stand in one area and they do that. And I just had one of them standing here. Or not standing but flying here it drives my dog crazy but anyway i'll put a link down below where you guys can go check it out and make you a candy corn to, i love candy corn i went and bought me a bag of it the other day and some uh, peanuts and mixed it all together oh my goodness if you've never tried it and you like peanuts and candy corn mix it together because i personally think it tastes like a payday really good and i'm having a hard time staying out of it so anyway super cute Okay, let's see. Kind of lost where I was at since I had to pause my video. Now this next one, let me see if I can get it out here. Oh yeah, let me dig it out here. Now this next one, one of my uh, yarny friends on here had put a link in the comment section about a video that Ophelia Talks had just came out with. And so I went and checked it out and oh my goodness, how cute is it? And I think it's called a spinner, a wind spinner, I believe is what it is. So I had to make me one. Mine's kind of gotten messed up because I've had it in my basket here. But anyway, I think it turned out really cute. And of course, I did mine in Halloween colors. Let me get it right. Oh, well, you're, you'll get the idea once I show you. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> it, like I said, it's kind of come undone a little bit. You take it and you just kind of roll it up to get the shape of it to where you want it to lay right let me see if i can do it real quick kind of like that and then it just kind of opens back up but i did mine in halloween colors you can see i did the green purple black and orange and it's all in mainstay and then of course i had to put a spider on the end of it <laughs> The white is supposed to look like the spider web. 
And speaking of spider webs, I tell you what, the last few mornings every time I go out and do my chores, I've been face planting one every day. And the spider on it is almost the size of this one right here. I'm not afraid of spiders. They don't really bother me. The only thing I don't like, I don't care for snakes too well. <laughs> but anyway, I thought this would make a cute addition to add to the bottom of this. And this is a uh, pattern by Olive of String Ding Ding. And I made some of these in one of my videos I showed y'all. I made the big one. I made two big ones out of velvet yarn and I made a little one out of acrylic. And this one is out of the acrylic and mainstay black. And then it's got some little safety eyes on there. You can see them there. It worked up so uh, quick and there's no sewing except just to sew your ends in. And that's it. Cute pattern. But look at how cute that is. I think it turned out really pretty. And I've seen several um, people have made these. And I left this on it because they can just tie this up to where they're wanting to tie it. I don't know if they're going to put it in front of a fan or, you know, put it outside. I like to make another one but do it in cotton yarn. It's where it'll probably last longer. But anyway, I used a, thinking I used a four millimeter hook maybe. Or a five, I can't remember. I'll I'll put it right here. Right, what hook I use now? I probably use the same hook that Ophelia used. I don't know why I keep winding it back up. Super cute. It's kind of hard to see on here. She shows you how to fix it too. Some people were having problems with the way it would lay, but you just kind of you just kind of roll it back around and just kind of lay one on top of the other and it'll eventually go back to the shape you need it to go. Anyway, super cute. A lot of fun to make. And I thank you so much for putting that in my comments for me to go check it out. I am subscribed to her, but I guess I didn't see that whenever it came out. So thank you. Okay, now this next one, I'm really excited about it too. And it is a uh, another pattern by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. I have a... Uh, I had a request to make one of these, and so I decided to make two of them. And you know me, I like to play around with the uh, velvet yarn. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is done in acrylic. Make sure I didn't get any dirt on him. He's laying on my chair. <laughs> but anyway, turned out really cute, and it's a ghost. <laughs> I love this little guy. He is so cute. Now, I used uh, Mainstay White, Mainstay Orange. The green is Mainstay Green. And the brown that I used on there is that tweed uh, from that premiere that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm hoping I can find some more of that because I uh, used some of that in another pattern that I'm working on. And I've only got one skein left, so hopefully I can find more of it. But anyway, I think this little guy turned out so cute. So much fun to make. Look how sweet he is. Got his safety eyes in there and I gave him a little smile super easy to make this uh, she called to put cardboard in the bottom of it so it would st uh, set flat here are my bees back and uh, really fun to make now I used a um, 3.2 millimeter hook and she calls to use a 4 so anyway now this one I did first and then I had to do the other one in my velvet you get him out of here. Now this thing is huge. This is how he turned out. <laughs> I love this guy. He is so much fun to make. Look how big he is compared to this one. <laughs> Whoa. Don't want to drop it on the ground. But anyway. This thing is about the size of a toddler. I told my husband. I said this is like having a toddler on your hip. <laughs> But anyway, he turned out so cute, and I end up using almost three skeins of the uh, Mainstay White. I don't remember how many yards are in it. It seemed like I want to say, oh, do I want to say 64? I don't remember. But anyway, it took almost three, and I, uh, one day when I went to Walmart, they had it on clearance at a Walmart that I went to, and I think for like a dollar a skein, and I uh, racked up on it. And then after I got it, I thought, what am I going to use it white on? Well, who knows? Might make a buddy or something. Who knew I'd be making a ghost? <laughs> but anyway, uh, it, it was a, this is a bulky, uh, I think a five. And I used some pretty good size 
safety eyes. I think this might have been like a 15 or a 10. I don't remember. The only thing I wish I would have put them just a little bit closer. But I didn't. But that's okay. He still turned out really cute. And then the pumpkin is one of Olive's uh, patterns too. I'll put a link down below where you can find it and the ghost. And it's free on her blog. But the pattern, but the pumpkin that this one has is with the pattern. I just wanted to do a bigger top of a pumpkin. Which I probably still could have used this pattern for this one. It would have worked fine. But I just decided to do that. But I think he turned out so cute. Mama and baby or daddy and baby. <laughs> oh, it's just so cute had a lot of fun but anyway took a lot of stuffing too but you guys i love using the velvet uh, yarn making the annies like this i wish i had all the colors of the velvet yarn where i can make other big annies but he's really cute this right here i didn't put anything in the bottom of this any cardboard because i just wanted to use it for like a pillow on my couch but you know if you put cardboard in the bottom of one of these of this size and you use velvet you can use that as a door stopper. Very cute. I can still use him as a door stopper. You know? But anyway, I had a lot of fun. And I'll put a link down below where you guys can go check it out. Like I said, he's about the size of a toddler sitting on you, sitting on your hip. <laughs> I think that's it. That's all what I've got done so far. I do have a, a couple of more. One of them's for my throwback Thursday, and the other one I won't be able to show it until after it's gifted. So anyway, that's all I got to show. I'm, I know I was kind of all over the place, and then having to pause my video because of the sun, but I, it's hard to see whatever it gets right in my face like that. <laughs> I guess I'm going to hop off here, and I'm going to go do some weed eating before it gets extremely hot. It is starting to get a little warm now, but i got to get those ditches weed eaten so the guys won't be spraying it. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be chatting to you guys real soon. <laughs>